Hello again. I'm going to go over how to create the illusion of detail in your digital paintings. On screen I have a picture of massive foliage and I'm going to go over how I deal with this much detail. Um, I had a slight problem with OBS Studio. The canvas on the right should start displaying my progress at about the 50 second mark. Ordinarily, a subject with this much complexity would be overwhelming and I just wouldn't know where to start. Plus, all the chaotic growth makes it seem like an impossible task. Actually, the cast ends up making it a little easier to deal with. Uh, when you approach something like this, you definitely don't want to be painting every stick, twig, branch, and leaf. I certainly couldn't do it. So, I start by simplifying the picture. I squint at the picture and look for the darkest and lightest patches, and I roughly place those values on the canvas with its approximate color. Um, these areas of light and dark will act as markers or anchors for the placement of various shapes in the painting. Uh, and when I say shapes, I mean the large shapes of the background, which takes up about roughly the upper third of the painting and the foreground that takes up the remaining two thirds of the canvas. So far, it's been simple. I've established the large areas of light and dark, then divided the painting into foreground and background. Uh, the next idea is what allows me to deal with this enormous amount of, it, of information. When I look at this foliage, all I see is gradients. Granted, it's, it's not a smooth gradient, it's a very choppy gradient. So that's my next task. It's to paint in the gradients of this mass of vegetation from the base of the plants where it's darkest to the crest where it's the lightest. Not to paint individual leaves or branches. That'll come at the end where there isn't even very much of that. All I'm interested in now is painting in that rough choppy gradient that's going to give me the uh, illusion of massive undergrowth. As an example, I'm looking at the confusion of vegetation as one large mass, like an irregularly shaped object, like a rock, uh, that has areas of light and dark, and a general gradient over that entire area. So I'm progressively going from the largest to the smallest, from light and dark areas to dividing the painting into foreground and background and then to giving a large general shape to these smaller elements within the foreground and background and applying an overall gradient. The next idea is to paint the negative spaces in the foliage and around leaves that will be the most noticeable. This this tends to give a more believable appearance rather than the individually painting in leaves and in branches. Again, I'm working with the largest areas of negative space first that will give the appearance of other smaller objects without having to actually paint those objects. And then you just work your way down to smaller and smaller negative spaces. Remember that uh, the foreground elements are always going to ha have more saturated color. Your, your darkest darks and your lightest lights will be in the foreground. Uh, conversely, your background will be less saturated. It'll be more of a grayish treatment 
of your colors and just lighter overall. Now that we're nearing the end, this is where you will judiciously apply some detail, like a few branches or blades of grass in the nearest foreground or stalks of plants. Lastly, touch up the painting where it needs it. Uh, warm up those areas in sunlight and cool down the areas in shadows you know hit the highlights or darken the shadows this is how I create the illusion of detail it's a relatively pain-free and detail-free procedure I couldn't imagine if I had to painstakingly paint every blade of grass I'd never make it Anyway, I hope this has been helpful, and I will see you next time.